Kompo Amina, Protobono Desk, and before we start today's video, please make sure you like and subscribe. It makes me happy in the end of the day, and it does show that th what I do doesn't fall on deaf ears, all right? So with all, with all that said, please enjoy the video. Kompo Amina, Protobono Desk, and welcome back to another deck profile. Today, I have Branded Odd Eyes. So kind of, it's kind of weird because this deck sort of works well together in a way where a lot of the fusions that you're able to go into, either your Albaz fusions or your Odd Eyes fusions, really have a nice synergy to them. So let's just get right into the profile. So first off, we start off with one copy of Scythe for the Scythe lock, because we're also able to go into XC's monster. So making Dagda, going into Scythe, and then going into your copy of Tornado Dragon, really super easy to do, and pretty simple to do. And especially with like Scythe being so cheap, definitely recommend picking these up. Next up, we have two copies of Albaz. Um, Albaz is an interesting card. Um... Depending on how you want to go first or second, I recommend if you're going trying to go first, play two copies of Albaz because it, it does require you to um, need your opponent to have materials on the field to use as fusion material. Uh, next up, we'll play one copy of Kit. This is either the extender for us or our main searcher for our, our, um, norm, or a, or a fusion spell, which will be Branded Fusion. Um, so basically, without Verte, there's not really a good way to search out Brand of Fusion if you're not running the um, Pareto Plant stuff. So one copy of Kit's good enough for what it's worth, and then a lot of other stuff we're playing are Odd Eyes. Next up, we play two copies of Tribe Brigade Mercurier. This is just like your sort of like Omni Negate when you can just ditches from your hand or field to the graveyard and then negate an effect. Uh, next up, we have copies of Ash, two copies of Valor. Valor is good just to get the Monster Negate because sometimes you're not able to get a Monster Negate if you don't have the proper materials. And then moving on to our Odd Eyes stuff. So for Odd Eyes, we play three copies of Arc Pendulum Dragon. If it's in your Pendulum Scale and another Odd Eyes card is destroyed by a card effect or battle, you're able to special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, which is really nice if you have tons of resources inside your graveyard or um, able to get your copy of Sky Iris to your uh, field. And you also have uh, Pendulum Dragon as well. Next up, we play two copies of Odd Eyes Revolution. This is basically your searcher for any of all, and all Odd Eyes pieces, basically basically, for any Odd Eyes Dragon. Um, next up, play one copy of Dissolver. Dissolver will go into your fusions. With two two copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Um, reason being is just that it's able just to do a lot more than, like, your standard, like, Arc Pendulum. And it's, a, and it's something you want to be out on the field and also use for, like, materials for uh, fusion summoning or XC summoning. Um, next up, play one copy of Performer Pal Monkey Board. Um, with this off the ban list, basically, this is basically just a free... Uh, searcher to complete your scale, so definitely recommend playing playing it for our performance pal package. Uh, play one copy of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. This is just a low scale for us, and just in case we need it. Um, play two copies of Joker with Joker. This is basically your searcher. You add any uh, performance pal or um, magician pendulum monster or uh, Odd Eyes monster from your deck to your hand, basically. Basically, your shadows of the deck. Next up, we play two copies of uh, Gentrude. Gentrude's pretty interesting because when it's destroyed, you place one Performer Pal Pendulum Monster from your deck in your Pendulum Zone, except Gentrude itself. And then if this card is faced up your extra deck, you can discard one other Pendulum Monster and add this card to your hand. So, what usually happens, right, is that you'll, Gentrude's effect will go off almost like five out, of, five out of ten times, really. And it's just a nice recursion to have. So you're able to just, like, dump either you have the Lady Ange in your hand, you dump that to the graveyard, then you use Lady Ange's effect to scale it, and then you get full scales right there. Um, next up is two copies of Performer Pal Lady Ange. Lady Ange is interesting also because it has two effects. So the first attack effect is a draw effect, so you can discard the card and one Performer Pal monster, which you have tons of. And then you can draw two cards. And then if this card's in the graveyard, and you can show an Odd Eyes card or Performer Pal Genshude inside your... Uh, Overall, you can place this card in your Pendulum Zone. So what I recommend is having uh, Genshude inside your Pendulum Zone and then using the first effect of Lady Ange. Lady Ange uh, sometimes later at the second turn or if it's right inside the graveyard because of Brand of Fusion, you're able to use it much more effectively. Uh, next up, we have two copies of Odd Eyes Synchron. This will allow you to go into your copies of the Odd Eyes, like Clear Wing and whatnot. This is definitely needed because you do need to like have a level one tuner with your clear wing, and also it's a good level. Uh, it's a level two, which you also use with your copy of Persona Dragon or your copy of Scythe to go into your copy of uh, Clear Wing as well. Onto the spells, we we'll play one copy of Branded Fusion. Um, so a lot of times this happens, right? You're really just kind of wanting to play around your opponent sometimes. So getting Branded Fusion to hand is not always the best option because 
from here, right? You go straight into like the big Ice Shade Dragon, and that's not really what you want. So what I recommend is actually try to go into your copy of uh, the Branded Dragon first before you try anything with the uh, Branded Fusion, right? You play two copies of Duelist Alliance. It's basically your Pendulum Searcher. So let's just search out your uh, Arc Pendulum Dragon, Pendulum Dragon itself, or your copies of the next two spells that you're playing. Next up, we're playing one copy of Pendulum Fusion. This allows you to use your Pendulum Skills as material, so it's really helpful. Like, if you need to go and see your Odd Eyes um, Fusion, something like that, you're able to use your Scales. and have two Odd Eyes in your Scales, and then another Pendulum Monster. You can go into your Odd Eyes, uh, oop, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Um, next up, we'll play one copy of Pendulum XCs. Pendulum XCs will allow you to go into your copy of Rebellion Dragon. A lot easier. Um, just remind, just to remind you guys, if you're going to go into uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, they do need to be Dragon type monsters. So do try to place your Arc Pendulum and Odd Eyes Pendulum inside your scales if you have Pendulum next season hand. I'll uh, play two copies of Extravagance. Extravagance is really good because we are playing Pendulums, and you, if you obviously load your deck, your extra deck with the Pendulum monsters, you're able to, to banish those instead of your main deck, uh, extra, your main extra deck monsters. You know. Play one copy of Call by the Grave just for standard hand trap removal. Um, and then play next up, we play two copies of Sky Iris. And basically, what this does is basically is protection as well as you're able to destroy a face up card control and add one odd eyes card from your deck to your hand. So that could also be uh, like odd, any odd eyes card basically. So it could be your Dissolver, your Arc, pen, uh, Arc Pendulum, you could be your um, Revolution or whatever you really need in that case. So it just adds your combo pieces to the hand. Next up for final two cards, we play two copies of Infinite and Permanence. This just helps out in the long run with like negates and whatnot. It's kind of standard for the uh, main deck. With that done, let's move on to the extra deck. So with the extra deck, we play one copy of Mirror Ice Shade Ice Blade Dragon for the obvious removal effects. And then when it's sent to the graveyard, you're able to activate the effect to destroy all or destroy all monsters on, on your opponent's your opponent's control. Next up, we have one copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Um, this allows this basically is a really good removal monster because if they negate your first effect and destroy it, the second effect will trigger and then basically an, its entire board wipe. We play one copy of Alba Lentis, uh, the Abyss Dragon right here. This is really important to know. If you're playing against Dragon Link and have Albas on the field, you can use all the dragon materials that they have on field. For this one monster and this monster will gain attacks based on how many dragon monsters you use so when you if you ever have like are playing against dragon link this is the card you want to go go into if you're playing second next up we play one copy of albion the branded dragon albion the branded dragon is just basically your first combo piece when you use albaz to go into this and then into your copy of either uh mirror mirror jade or any of the other uh other albaz dragon fusions but what's also great about this card over here, you're also able to go and you go into your copy of Vortex Dragon, which is really surprising, and a lot of people won't see this coming. So if you're able to get this on the field, you can target one face up attack position monster your, your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So it's a good removal as well. And then next up, we play one copy of Brigand the Glory Dragon. This is a, this allows you to get your Tribigate or another Fallen Ibaz to the field, which is pretty nice. Um, like I said, we play the one copy of Vortex Dragon, and then play the one copy of Venom Dragon. Venom Dragon is interesting because you're able to just absorb attack, and it's just like kind of the cool combo pieces that you have later on in the game that might be useful, but definitely recommend going to Starving, starving uh, Venom first. Next up, play one copy of Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Clearwing Synchro Dragon is one card that a lot of people underestimate in terms of like power, because there's two negates right here. One the ger generic negate and then one targeting negate that targets this card so if people if a pl your opponent targets this card after you chain it you could chain this card again and negate both of those monsters next up play one copy of odd eyes wing dragon and wing dragon is really good because during the battle phase you're able if you single summon this card you're able to destroy all level five or higher monsters your opponent controls and that could be really good and later on but just a reminder that you could only use one of the two effects per turn so you have to choose either to target one effect monster controls and negate it or to use that the battle effect next up we play one copy of odd eyes absolute dragon absolute dragon is really good because you're able to detach one negate attack and then you're able to um summon an odd eyes monster from your hand or graveyard so if you have your copy of arc pendulum in hand or your copy of 
Pendulum or any other uh, Odd Ice card, you're able to spring it out really easily, and it's a really good extender. Um, next up is Tornado Dragon. This is really mostly just for your copy of Scythe to pop it, and then Scythe lock your opponent, so that's pretty it. Pretty shit. Next up, we'll play one copy of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Rebellion Dragon is more of like a stepping stone piece for our next card, um, but technically you're not a you're, you're technically you're not able to go into this card legitimately um, using to like using an XC's monster. But that's why the next card is really important because you can use this card for that as XC's material. Next up, we play one copy of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. Overlord has the ability to use a Rebellion XC's monster. You we, we control as a material, so that's why you use your copy of Rebellion Dragon. And then go into your copy of uh, Overlord over here. And this if and basically what this does is that if you use the Xyz's material, you're basically able to do three attacks during each battle phase. And that's pretty good. That's, that's a lot of damage at the end of the day. And it, it, you're able to clear out your opponent's board faster. Next up, play one copy of Dagda, just for a Scythe Lock, and one copy of Beyond the Pendulum for our adding of Pendulum Scales. So typically what happens a lot of times is like, you'll try to do Beyond the Pendulum's effect, but then you're kind of like, oh, that's fine. So you just, it gets negated, and you're like, okay, that's fine. And then you'll just keep going through your other combos, because if you get negated on the Pendulum, so you just go into Albaz and so on and so forth, all right? So that's pretty much it. The side deck's pretty simple. Um, this is really... There's not a lot of room for your hand traps and what, so do take it, keep in mind these are just generic things I think would help out in the deck like Nibiru, Droll, and Lockbird, um, Dark Room No More, and Cross Out Designator, but by no means that these are necessary, alright? So let's move on to the replays. Alright, so first hand we open up with our copy of Pendulum XC's Friggin's Kit, and Imperm, Odd Eyes Dissolver, and, and uh, Lady Ange. So the opponent goes first, he's gonna activate his effect of. Prosperity to dig through his deck and add a toucan to hand. Then he's going to activate his Thunderies, the Advent Adventure, to send his copy of toucan to add Robin. And he's going to gain 500. He's going to normal summon Robin, but we're going to negate it with the Imperm, negating his effects. He'll add the toucan back to hand based off its own effect, and then he just sets two passes. Alright. So starting our turn, we draw the effect failure, and then we will normal summon a copy of Spriggan's kit. Spriggan's will add Brand of Fusion to our hand, and then we'll send back our copy of send back a copy to the deck, and then draw two using Lady Angie's effect and discarding Performal Eyes Dissolver. We'll then activate our copy of Branded Fusion, sending your copy of Albaz and our copy of Odd Eyes Revolution. And then we'll go into our copy of Branded Dragon. We'll activate Branded Dragon's effect, but we'll get called by the Grave. And we'll target our their copy of um, Fallen Abbas. But since we did banish our copy of Odd Eyes Revolution, we kind of say, oh, I don't have to go straight into Abbas combos. I could go into our copy of Vortex. So we'll activate Vortex effect to bounce back the Flunderage, but by its own effect, it will banish itself. And then once it's battle, and deal 17, 25, and another 25, and then we will pass turn there. We're going to draw one card, and then we'll use two can, and then chart and activate the copy of Rabina. We're going to actually effect failure with two can, and then they are just going to surrender right there. What did you guys think? I like this deck because it has the ability to go into all the Odd Eyes monsters, such as the... Clear Wings, as well as the Arc Rebellion, Arc, uh, Rebellion stuff, and I just enjoy it because it's such a good archetype that mi mixes well together. So that's pretty much the end of this deck profile. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and let me know if you guys want to check that check this deck out. All right. So sayonara.